Hell yeah. Um, guys, when we thought it couldn't get any worse than what it is now in this conflict, it just got a whole lot of worse. The escalation has just been tucking up a step even further. Um, this is not looking good for no one right now. Um, Scott Ritter just came out. Russians will nuke Fury at Russia over deadly Crimean bridge attack, which just recently happened. Um, prepare a sweep in retaliation against Ukraine. It's about to get a whole lot ugly right now, man. It's about to get really, really bad. Um, I have... Let me go back. Now, why is it jumping real quick? <laughs> let me go back because I want to read this real quick. Uh, it's going to be another quick news type of segment type of video for you guys, man. Just to keep you guys informed, man. Just Again, these are just my opinion about this whole situation. It is getting out of hand. We just had a shocking confession from General, um, retired General Jack King. He said something that's like a smoking gun to me, and I already knew this from the get-go. I already knew that we were funding the Ukrainians to fight on our behalf to start a war with Russia. And um, I already knew most of the stuff that this guy came out and said, I already knew. I had a good a gut feeling that that's what was going on. For some reason, our government decided to wage this direct war against Russia. They couldn't get they couldn't get too involved in it, so they did this proxy war in order to kind of stay out of it. And um, General Jack King just came out. I don't know if it's guilt. I don't know what it is that made this man confess what he said, but... <laughs> It's crazy, guys. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. We're going to try to get through it as fast as we can. A new escalation is sitting by the unprecedented, uh, unprecedented uh, attack by Ukraine, uh, the Ukrainian regime on the Crimean Bridge on Saturday morning with three uh, passed away, three deceased. Uh, Moscow, as everything shows, is preparing for a decisive and rapid response to Kiev, which, according to Western media, may take the form of a generalized counterattack. Statements by the Russian officials already point to the conclusion that Russian forces will respond vigorously uh, in order to prevent new attacks by the Ukrainians with the help of the of the West on vital infrastructure projects in Russia. It is recalled that the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, interpreted through his advisor, Mihailo, or Mihailo uh, Parlerak, that everything legal must be destroyed, everything stolen must be returned to Ukraine, Russia must be expelled, from everything it owns. Moscow officially denounces the Ukrainian regime as a terrorist act with the first data from the investigation is shown. So recently in this Crimea bridge, we thought it was maybe a high Mars missile attack that they launched some sort of missile towards the bridge, but no. There was a guy from, um, I think it was a Syria, and he was a suicide bummer. They got him to get into this big old tra uh, this, this trailer, this truck, and he drove the, the thing he drove his tractor trailer across the bridge loaded with a ton of explosives and he detonated it on the bridge. It collapsed partial of the bridge. Most of the bridge is in like the sea or the, or the black sea or whatever this um, bridge was built at. But it, it was it was brutal because they thought it was a missile attack. But no, it, it was a guy in this um, tractor trailer going across this bridge and he detonated his explosives. He was a suicide bomber. On behalf of the Ukrainian, uh, the Kiev government, the Kiev government took all of the credit for it and say, yeah, we did that for it. We did that on Putin's birthday. We don't give a damn. We, we, we let them know we don't care no more. So there's rage in Moscow. Um, there's anger in Moscow after the unprecedented attack, unprecedented attack on the Crimean Bridge on Saturday morning. The statement of Dmitry Polishinsky, um, I can't pronounce these last Russian names, forgive me, uh, First Deputy First deputy permanent representative of Russia to the UN is typical. Glorifying the Nazis, bombing civilians, killing women and children, banning everything Russian and blaming Russia for it. Spreading terror and destruction made in Ukraine since 2014 with Western technology. We were very patient. Time to destroy everything illegal, he noted on Twitter. The Ukrainian action on the Crimean Bridge underlines the terrorist character of the Kiev regime. Russian Foreign Minister spokeswoman Maria Zakharova. Saka, Sakahara, Sakahara uh, wrote on Telegram, Telegram, the action of the Kiev regime, namely the destruction of civilian infrastructure, highlights its terrorist character. He pointed out, commenting on the comments of the Kiev officials. Russia is running out of patience right now, guys. So we're, we're uh, looking at a possible nuclear war soon to be coming upon our shores. We recently had Biden, the one who doesn't know where he's at most of the time, came out warning us of nuclear Armageddon. So this is getting out of hands. They're talking about finding Putin. They're trying to find Putin an off-ramp. No. They need to find an off-ramp as well, too. We need an off-ramp as well, too. It can't just be no Putin with an off-ramp. 
Y'all need to offer him too because y'all started this whole mess, bro. Leave these Russian people alone. I seen something on them. They say they just want peace. They don't want the America keep messing with them. America keep antagonizing them. They keep blaming them for this. Keep blaming them for that. This is a, guys, this is a regime change war that we're looking at right now in front of our faces. They're trying to change the whole government in Russia. The dollar is collapsing. We got to, we, we getting, we're getting these economic issues right now, guys. Our country, our, this, this administration, this stupid administration with all the idiots, they're panicking because they're losing the dollar. The dollar is about to go out the window. They know it themselves. So they're trying to start up this nuclear war with Russia. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys. It's just crazy. Russia's running out of patience. That's what we're getting to. The Guardian tries to analyze the situation at the explosion on the bridge in the Kerch Strait uh, in Crimea, recalling the symbolic nature of the construction for the Russians, but also the possible effects on the attitude of the Kremlin and by extension on the battlefield. What, when he started the special military operation as he as he caused the invasion of Ukraine, B. Putin, well, Vladimir Putin, had in his scenarios the possibility of targeting the bridge, which is why he had one of retaliation, which he felt obliged to carry out. As he points out in the analysis of the Guardian, explains how this practically translates into a fierce counterattack. The explosion had an immediate impact on Crimean residents who rushed to gas stations to fill up their cars. I've seen videos of that. Um, although there are other ways of supplying Crimea, including its ports, the explosion and damage to the bridge is extremely significant in a place that until recently was considered by Russia to be inaccessible to Ukraine. However, this has changed in recent months. Attack on a naval uh, air base in Saki in August prompted Russian terrorist tourists to leave Crimea beaches in droves, even forming a kilometer uh, long queue at the bridge. Also, Russian Navy forces have been quietly reorganizing as war approaches. How Moscow responds to this is the big question at this point in time. But it was a question that loomed ever more strongly as Ukraine has mounted a successful counterattack in recent weeks amid growing concern among Russian elites and commentators about Putin's conduct of the war. So right now they're saying that he's his back is against the wall. Putin's back is against the wall. He got his hand hovering over the red button, the nuclear button, and he's right now he's in a. They're, um, allegedly he's supposed to be in his bunker right now with his uh, other family members that he called up to go into the bunker with him, because he's like monitoring the whole situation. So if it gets out of hand, they already setting up their Sarmat tools. They setting up all their nuclear weapons just on standby right now. They just monitoring the situation to see how out of hand is going to get. So this is getting risky. In April, the deputy ch chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, made threats. One of the Ukrainian generals spoke about the need to strike the Crimean bridge. He said one of the Ukrainian generals already stated this maybe a month or so, uh, a couple months ago. I hope you understand what the target of retaliation would be. At the very least, the analysis of clue, it is a huge propaganda victory for Kiev that will be seen as a sign that not only is it unfair of Putin nuclear threats, but that it believes it is winning the war. Scott Ritter... I don't know if you guys ever had a chance of checking the Scott Ritter out on YouTube. Uh, big up to Scott for coming out, saying some of the stuff that needs to be said. Because, again, we're not going to find the Western media. Everybody's going to be like, no, 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 that ain't true. That ain't fact. He said, he just came out and stated that the Russians will use nukes. Russia did not start his war of aggression, but NATO will suffer a major defeat. Former U.S. Marine reconnaissance officer and U.N. weapons inspector Scott Ritter paid, said, um, possibly hitting me. Hastening after he undisclosed strike in Crimea as, as Putin seems to want push. Um, Ritter, however, predicts the defeat of the Western military alliance. He doesn't think that NATO is really willing to risk everything to defeat Russia. He even predicted that the Russians will use nukes. NATO will suffer another humiliating defeat if Russia defeats Ukraine, a defeat similar to Afghanistan. Wow. The defeat must be digested by NATO because the consequences of the war with Russia are very great. It is a very dangerous situation. I don't know if people re have realized how dangerous the current situation is. He concluded, guys, which a lot of Americans need to wake up. We're in a very, very, very tough spot that our government has put us in. I'm so mad as a bro. I'm like, like being hold the other guy who's on Fox. I'm, I'm so furious with this government that is, I can't, I can't, oh, I can't describe it right now how, how angry I am with these people. I feel like they're. I don't know what to call it, guys. I got a gut feeling. I feel like they're setting up. I don't know what it is. They it's like, it's like they want America to be destroyed. I don't know what is it with these people. They're delusional. I don't know what it is. 
They ordering up two. They, what they just did? They they just uh ordered up two hundred and ninety million dollars worth of anti radiation drugs. I don't know if you guys caught that. That's also in the news. They're doing all of these. I mean, the writing is on the wall. They got all of these signs. They got PSAs in New York City about nuclear war attacks. Like all of these things is coming out of the woodworks. Americans got to take note, guys. This is the next crisis that we're looking at. I have a gut feeling that we're looking at the next crisis play out right in front of our eyes. And most people are asleep. They don't even know that this is going on right now. This is not fun and games, guy. Russia said, hey, leave us alone. Please stop antagonizing us. Leave our country alone. We're not messing with you guys. Get the hell off our borders. Stop bringing that conflict shit up. They keep just keep going on with it, bro. NATO. Then you got General Jackass. General, I'm call, I got I gotta call him that. General Jack Jackass King. <laughs> Coming out admitting me. I got another video. I'm gonna link the video. I'm not gonna go over it. On Fox Business recently telling people that this was a good investment. That that they wait, we pay Ukrainian. $66 billion to fight on behalf of U.S. interests. We don't care about the American people. You know what I'm saying? We started this, so why not provoke them? We want we we talk, you know, we brought it on to uh the you know bring these guys into a, a direct conflict. Let me go back because it's also on war news 24-7. And we're gonna just I'm gonna just go like but say it's in that video. I probably won't play it, but it's in that video right now. I'm gonna link it for anybody who wants to check it out. And this is the article here with this this idiot right here. $66 billion, guys, for Ukrainians to die for our interests. And that's what they're doing, guys. They're flooding the country with all of this money, all of these weapons. You got to question it. Why are you guys doing that? What's really going on here? They're keeping all Americans in the dark. They're not really telling everybody what's really going on. Biden is time to be wary. Don't know if Putin got on the phone. You know, wherever they had a conversation recently and Putin sounded really upset. Who knows what that man is over there? It's so much pressure on him right now to act. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of pressure on Putin. The Russians looking at him right now say, hey, what are y'all going to do about this? Because these guys are just keep pushing and they keep pushing. They keep pushing. Man, hit him with your nuclear arsenal, man. Hit him with your nuclear because they're they not going to stop. So we're at a point right now where people don't see what's coming, guys. They're talking about pushing this man further into the corner. No, they're pushing this man into some other stuff, bro. Some other stuff. He's, he's almost outside of the corner. He's no longer in the corner. He's way outside of it now. So we can't have it. Oh, we need to give him an off ramp. We need Putin to get Putin an off ramp. No, we need to give ourselves an off ramp because this was never supposed to go on as long as it did. NATO is running some sort of gang. Like, oh, we're I think we're as possible. We can defeat them. We just use Ukraine for it. Yeah, keep sending all the money, and weapons, sneaking high mark systems over there. Like, bro, what's wrong with you people? What's wrong with these people, bro? All of them need to go. Biden. Fumbling around, don't know where he's at. It's scary. I'm looking at it. I'm like, do everybody, do anybody see this? This guy doesn't know where he's at. How could he be leading the country? It's not him. It's his handlers behind the scenes that want a actual nuclear war to happen, bro. I'm convinced now. What is y'all plan B? Just to run an underground bunkers? I pray to God that I pray to God they all collapse on all of y'all heads. <laughs> all of y'all, y'all y'all get trapped down there, bro. Like y'all can't come back up. I hope, it, I hope the air circulation cuts off everything. Just Y'all just smother down it, bro. I don't really care for these people, bro. God forgive me. I'm not trying to wish bad on nobody. But I'm so furious right now, bro. Y'all know y'all in the wrong. Y'all know y'all in the wrong. And like I said, this idiot here talking about one point. He's going to say, look at this. It's all here, guys. Check out what we Just read the article. I'm not going to go through it. I just want to put this out real quick. Make this a, a short video as I can. Check out my other videos. Like I say, it, it's, it's crazy, guys. I don't know what to say. I just know that we're in trouble. I mean, huge trouble because no, nobody understands how, how bad this would be for us, our country. Nobody understands the type of discretion that can happen off. We're talking about states and cities being wiped, the completely just wiped out, bro. Wiped out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got to sit up for a second. Y'all want to sacrifice New York? What, what did y'all want to do? Now, what, what state or city do y'all want to sacrifice for this idiot, this idiot's conflict that we shouldn't even be involved in? Really? Over Ukraine? Yeah, let's just, we've been, been paying them. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. He he admitted it on Fox News Channel, because I'm going to leak the video. That only for $66 billion, guys, we put Ukraine at war with Russia. That is insane, guys. Insane. He say investments in Ukraine are very profitable. Uh, profitable. 
Um, because of the relatively little money in the entrance in the United States, no, not Americans down the world, Russia, but Ukrainians. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is a statement. The four star, the four star general, retired general. We shouldn't even call you a four star, bro. You like a two star at this time. Probably you one star for the type of idiot in this. And he's part of the military industrial complex for most people who don't know already. He's not a four star general. This man like a two star. I put Doug McGregor on him. Doug McGregor body slam him in the debate. He ain't, bro. This man is this man is a clown, bro. Man is a straight clown, General Jackass. I'm gonna call him that, General Jackass, Jackass King. I wish Doug, I wish you would, I wish you would debate uh, Doug McGregor in the debate. Man, Doug McGregor body slam you in a debate. He'll make you look, he'll make you look pitiful, bro. As a general, bro, you man, these people gotta go, bro. I'm so furious. It ain't even funny, guys. I'm gonna leave the video I'm out. You guys be t be easy, man. Take care. Keep your eyes on this. Prepare yourselves. Prepare your families. Let them know. That America have a problem. We have a crisis on our hands now. And I'm praying that we can make it throughout this year, guys. I'm really praying. Because we don't know what's going on. And this is that we are really looking at the nation crisis plot right in, right in front of our eyes. Right in front of my eyes. So, so pray, guys. Pray for all of us right now, guys. Americans, we need it. We're, we're under attack, guys. We're under attack. We're in war with our own government. Our government has waged the war on the American people, guys. We're under attack. Bear with me, guys. We are under attack, guys. This is no laughing matter, guys. Pray for all of us, man. We're in a crisis right now, guys. Americans got to be able to see it for what it is. The writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. We ignored Putin for so long, guys. They ignored the crap out of this man. They never took him seriously. They laughed at this man, bro. They laughed at him. Never took this man seriously, bro. It's going to come back, man. If they're going to bite off more than they can chew. It's, it's going to come back on them tenfold. When they see it, they're going to be like, oh, what the hell were we thinking? It's going to be too late by the time. I don't know, guys. I'm out. I'm out. Just take care. Be easy, guys.